Today, I'm going to show you stuff you should not buy at Target. Come on. So just a life hack, Target uses their end caps to specialize on random things like this. It may look great, but it's not great. Let me show you why. I'm gonna buy this little megaphone thing they have, this marshmallow shooter. I'm gonna show you why later on, why these are not worth it. So this looks appealing, no? I'm gonna buy it. Also, the as seen on TV aisle, meaning all these random things, like this comfy dream one, it looks great, but look at the price, $44.99. Is it really worth it? No. Let me show you why later. I'll put this in my cart. All right, so this aisle is pretty dangerous and very luring, okay? We have stuff like the hatchet toss, a little runaway basketball, this little spike ball mini game. Like these make up for good gifts, but are they really great gifts? It's better if I just buy it and then show you why. Okay, so another one of the dangerous aisles that is very tempting are these little equipment things with wheels, okay? So for example, you can put wheels on your shoes. Does it sound safe? Let me buy it. For you guys who don't know how um, little stores are set up, the stuff you can see on eye level are the things they're trying to sell to you. But the more you go up on the aisles, you don't notice it, so you don't wanna buy it. So the things you wanna buy are usually up top. So like this one, there's a reason why it's on top of the shelf, okay? All right, so I don't know if you know this, cause sometimes Target likes to put things in drawers, like these things, they have little, but sometimes you can find like rare things. Customers like to hide things so they can come back to it like four weeks later. Like, uh, look at like this. Someone literally hid like a Pokemon card thing. It must be pretty good, so. <clears throat> All right, let's check out. So we just checked out. So a lot of people don't know this, but Target has a food court, all right? You literally have this little section here, uh, slushies over here. But the best thing, the best thing about the food court is their popcorn. Their popcorn, freaking mint, brother. I'm gonna get a slushie too. And then when you're done, you just check out right here. Look at that. Easy peasy, baby. Pound it, noggin, see ya. Mm. Target popcorn? Oh my gosh, I'm not even lying. Okay, backed it all up. I'll see you back. Razor Jets. You can put wheels on your shoes. Look at that. Okay, so the configuration pretty much took a while, but uh, they look great. These are the never before seen Razors. Not sponsored, but these are fresh, gas lit. I guess you can walk like this, but if you don't want to walk and you're lazy, you can just, I'm freaking scared. All right, see you guys later. Oh, I'm, I'm, I can't. Here we go. I got this. Ah! So this is why you shouldn't buy it, because you're gonna get injured for sure, but cool, it's pretty cool. Hatchet toss, okay? You ever wanna go ax throwing, but it's uh, too dangerous and too expensive? Well, this doesn't do the job because you should not buy it. Let me show you why. All right, so it looks like this. It's pretty cool, but uh, does it work well? Oh, I completely missed and I uh, hit the wall. This is why you shouldn't buy it because, oh my God. At least I'm accurate, no? Ooh. Yeah, should not play this. You ever wanted to play spike ball? You want to learn how to play spike ball, but you want to do it in your house? Now is your chance. This is why you shouldn't buy it. Setup just takes forever. Now you can take off whatever on your table, grab your ball and start spiking. You ready? Yeah, but I'm by myself. I have no friends, so this is why you shouldn't buy it. If you have no friends, shoot it! This is why I have three dogs! All right, this is the runaway basketball toy thingy, okay? The reason why you should not buy this is because it's not realistic, but we'll try it anyways. All right, it comes in like this, and then I guess you just turn it on, press start. Oh, shoot, I guess you just, oh, sheesh! 
you have to be in a very open spot for it to go because if not, it's just gonna get blocked, like right here, then you can go. So let's go in a bigger space. Maybe uh, we'll have some more fun with this thing. Come on. Oh, I get it. And you stay in the middle and then you do your best. Oh, you got me. You got me. Oh no. Who's gonna return the ball to me? Atatukumpo, atatukumpo. So the hardest part is when you shoot, you have to run and grab your ball. Money. <laughs> see, you see what I mean? If you miss, you miss hard. Literally, money. See, you miss. So that's all I got. Let's move on, let's move on. Pokemon cards from Target. So let me show you. Ooh, the box is nice though. All right, yo, oh. Let's start with this one. One, two, three. And energy. We have a Gastrodon and a Parasect. No Charizard yet. One, two, three. Ooh, close. We got a Wild Ear. One, two. Oh, I got a V card. Ha! Still no Charizard. This is why you shouldn't buy this, dude. All right, so first box is done. You do get a cool coin though. Wow. So this is the last one. This is a Charizard Sword and Shield. Here we go. Charizard. And there you have it. The reason why you shouldn't buy this. Magic mixes. What is this? You should not buy this because one, it takes forever to set up and two, it's not worth the price tag, okay? See, first of all, you have to put batteries in. There should already be batteries in your Freaking toy. So step one, turn it on. Oh, that's kind of cool. It says to summon power from the winds, wiggle. Jiggle one downwards. I don't know. <laughs> I'll wake. Oh, thank you. So I just realized you're supposed to turn on the magic wand. So it was off the whole time. I've been doing this for 10 minutes and the one wasn't even on, dude. All right, here we go. Let's do it again. <gasps> it's smoking. Oh, look at it, look at it. Okay, this is kind of cool now. Wow, I like that. It's happening. Something's happening. Oh. Oh my gosh, so the reveal. Oh, look at you. All right, so yeah, that is why you should not buy this. Cool experience, but just the, the hassle it takes to freaking get the toy. One, I'm gonna throw this. One, two, three. I know you. All right, so this next product, this you will not need to buy. Even though it does seem comfortable, it's not comfortable. Let me demonstrate. Inventors, wearables, blankets. First of all, this feels kind of good, dude. All right, let me just wear it. It might. Oh my gosh. I gotta have to tell you this really close to this microphone because this feels so good. You shouldn't buy it. Prop 82 says if you wear things, it's going to be bad for your health over time. Yes, it feels good now, but in the long run, it's not good for your health. You'll probably feel this, dude. This is so good. Dude, that feels freaking. <sighs> Fire. Yo, mini waffle maker. All right, I have it all set up here. It heats up pretty quickly, actually. I just plugged it in, it's pretty hot already. So uh, let's see how nice this is, okay? Spray it a little bit with the pan. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, put a little bit of batter in here. Oh, yes. Yes, I like it, I like it. Look at that, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Close it up like that. Mm. Okay, now we wait. Yeah, so it's only been about a minute, but it's already steaming. If it's done, I'm gonna just freak out. Oh my gosh, that is nice. Ooh, maybe a little bit more. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at that. 
All right, so it's supposed to have a little gingerbread, little outline, let's see if it's... Oh, that's a so cute! No, 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 all right. See, it's not perfect, so that's why you should not buy this. All right, let's, let's try it out and see if it's delicious, all right? That's pretty good, man. Yeah, I mean, for the price, it was like 20 bucks. It makes one tiny waffle, one at a time, so it's like, just buy a real waffle maker, you know? Okay, okay, okay. All right, I understand. This is a cool megaphone considering it's like $15. And it's not only just the megaphone, okay? It's also a bottle opener, okay? If you're wondering where the bottle opener is, it's just right here. Just in case you want to speak on the microphone and open a bottle at the same time. Let's... What kind of bottle opener is this? Oh my gosh, no, it does not work well. If you see this at Target, do not buy this whatsoever. This is trash. Okay, after the seventh attempt, we finally opened the bottle. Ah. All right, so this is the other end cap product that I told you not to buy. The Marshmallow Raider, okay? You load it up with marshmallows and you shoot it, okay? It looks great, but knowing these end cap products, they don't probably work the way they should work, okay? It's probably gonna malfunction, just like yo boy, the bottle cap opener. What, what kind, kind of, of bottle, bottle opener, opener is this? this? Uh. All right, so we load up some mini marshmallows up in here, okay? Look at that. Let's seal this up. All right, so uh, I guess you just pull back. And then it should shoot. Let me shoot to this camera. Three, two, one. I knew it wouldn't work, okay? It's an end cap product. I told you, holy moly. See, see? Trash! See, I told you, I predicted it before I even tried it. So if you see this at Target, do not buy this one, okay? Take your trash, throw it in the trash, move on.